If you're using traditional auto-generated support, it will have a little bit of distance from the part to be removable, so you would end up with flex and wobble as the part is printed. So you have to use designed support. And the way you design this support is just like this. You create effectively a fin off the part. You can do it at a 45 degree angle because a 45 degrees is the best way to print the part. That way you don't have overhangs that can potentially sag by having a steep area over here even though it's shallow in the back. From there, you design this fin to be about a half a millimeter to one millimeter spaced parallel to the back of the enclosure or the part that you're trying to print. Then you take sprues and horizontally design them to run and merge into the part. You now have this nice little set of ribs that run up here along this fin and you have this awesome piece of support, which when it's done, all you have to do is break it off and it comes clean and all you have is a few divots that could be sanded down or you can just live with. It's a very clean way of producing supports 